Uvanga atera metikok kikik tagurmi ronga. And I just introduced myself as Holly and I'm from Katsabu. I'm Inpak and I'm a traditional Inuit tattooist. I think growing up in a dog mushing family, like living out in the boondocks, because we didn't even live in Katsabu, we lived outside of Katsabu. Sometimes 30 miles, sometimes a few miles, but you know, we didn't have running water. I think really early I decided I wanted running water. <laughs> I just felt like um, they worked really hard and um, you know just for the basics like uh, what you would consider like closest to what Inuit people were like before contact right um, it's more about survival then you're, you're thinking about what's gonna feed you and what's gonna keep your house warm and the basics and I've always wanted to do more than that yeah, we want to make a good tool, so I often, you know, give myself a little moment to take a deep breath and then, you know, good tattoo vibes. A little shout out to my Anamo, my great grandmother, who was our last surviving um, traditionally tattooed family member, and just ask for her blessing. And some, some women are using it as a way to make cultural markers, which I think is lovely. Um, like their first hunt, their first time processing a salmon or a seal or whatever it is. But um, traditionally it was a significance of the woman. Um, and that could be determined by her, by the person giving her the tattoo, by her yeah. community. Um, or by a, a much larger sense. I think we do a lot of talking now about the tattooing and what it was tra traditionally, not in the last 200 years, but r in the beginning, what that looked like and um, trying to honor that. It's nice, huh? Seeing that one's going to heal a little bit smaller than the others. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see it in a different light. Oh yeah, that's good. Try on. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's gonna heal just perfect. <laughs> right? That's very nice. I really stare at your chin. Let me look. Let me look. Um, at that time. And we have these women that are we can see her tattoos. Yes. And I'm sorry guys, they were living and they died very close to where I grew up. Mm -hmm. So there's like absolutely no doubt that the four mothers in my life have looked like this. Yes. These women are Greenlandic women. Yes. And that moves me very much. <laughs> 